the level of person that you see at the Army-Navy game, and I'm not talking about only at the game. My wife and I, the lovely Lee Ross Dockets, we drove nine hours. We got tickets from Scott Strassmeyer, a friend of mine from Indiana who is now the sports information director slash um, uh, sports coordinator for Navy football and basketball and all that stuff. He told me, he goes, hey, look, you last year said you wanted my two tickets, bucket list. It was, it was unbelievable. But here's what's unbelievable. We got there 10, 11 o'clock at night, Friday night after driving. We got to the hotel. We picked the right hotel. The Lowe's was perfect. Here's the deal. Army, Navy people were in the bar. It was loud. So we said, look, we're going to go sit in the corner, get a glass of wine, hang out. Glass of wine became damn near a bottle because we had so much fun. The people there, it was an energized guys hugging, talking about, I was listening to some guys talking about some deployments they have. It didn't matter if you were black, if you were white. It didn't matter if you were tall, you were short, you were old, you were young. It didn't even matter then if you were Army, Navy, man. It was just the best of the best of us. And I got to tell you, I'm not over-exaggerating. I, I, in fact, I don't think I can explain it to you. Then you go to the game and Sage is there. You see Sage Steele on the left. She's a good friend. Her father, upper left, Gary Steele, first African-American to ever play football at West Point and the most impressive dude you're ever going to meet, man. We sat on the sideline in the middle, Chris Harrison, the guy who got absolutely screwed by the bachelor and the bachelorette. And then, of course, my beautiful wife. We're on the sideline and we're just talking and talking. Talking to the colonel was unbelievable. He pointed out, there's a flag guy up there. Cadets are marching in. This guy tells what chants are going. That young lady right in the front, she's the leader of all the cadets. He is the most impressive man ever. And then the game started. The game starts, and here they come. It's an advertisement for America. It's an advertisement for Army, Navy, man. And I mean, the people around, and again, nobody cared. Black, white, poor, rich, young, old. Here they come, and the place is nuts. Like one side, the opposite side was the Army side. I was on the Navy side. So a bunch of my buddies that were there, they had kids go to West Point. They're like, here comes Army, baby. Oh, man, goosebumps right now. Planes flying, Black Hawk helicopters flying, stealth bombers flying. But it was the people. I sat next to Sean McGee. Sean was a former player at Navy and his beautiful family, man. Six kids. They're cheering. Sean was a lineman. All the people around. I'm telling you, go, 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 and then go, go more. 